Hi, Perry Romanowski here from Chemist Corner, and I wanted to tell you about this uh, interesting tool I saw from BASF. It's the BASF Sunscreen Simulator. It's a cool tool, and if you are a formulator of sunscreens, you might find it useful. So to get to the tool, you go to uh, sunscreensimulator.basf.com slash sunscreensimulator. The, the link is right there. Um, you have to log in, so if you don't have one, it's a free to log in, so you can just register a new account. I've already gone through and done that, so I will log in. And when you log in, this is what you see. Now, the first thing you want to do is this options here. So wherever you're formulating, there's a variety of choices. Uh, I'm in the U.S., so I'll just click the U.S., and the very cool part is that it switches which uh, it has this listed all of the UVA and UVB and the UV filters that you can use in the United States it also gives all of the percentages so it's very handy so let's just see if we switch to say Europe you see there's all these uh, different regulations so it's pretty handy uh, depending on where you're formulating let's just go back to US now the way you work this is that you can look at the different UV filters that you have and in these boxes over here you put the percentage that you're going to use in your formulation. So let's suppose we wanted to use a zinc oxide and we were going to put that in say the oil phase. In the United States you can use up to 25%. Let's just say we use 10%. Now zinc oxide will give us UVA protection. Now let's uh, add some UVB protection and say something like, uh, well, let's say we just want to use all uh, what they would call minerals. So we'll look at titanium dioxide, put in another 10% of that. So now we have 20% uh, in the formula. Just click on start calculation. And there you go, it gives you a, an approximate uh, SPF rating based on those percentages. Uh, this would say that would give you an SPF of 25 and it gives you some other information about it which is really cool so if you are looking to formulate now say you wanted to make a, a 30 we can go back and say okay that's not enough let's add some more zinc oxide so we'll go up to 15 percent do our calculation again and now we're up to an SPF of 30. So if you wanted an SPF of 30, use 15% zinc oxide, 10% titanium dioxide, and that'll get you to an SPF rating of 30. Now of course this is de really dependent on your formulation, so we don't know uh, whether you're going to get these exact numbers, but what is really handy about this tool is that it lets you, it gives you a starting point, it gives you a place to begin to figure out how much of these uh, uh, UV blockers that you're going to use to get the SPF rating that you want. So that's all I got. Uh, nice job, BASF. Um, I should note that BASF has not paid me or even contacted me about this. I just uh, stumbled upon this uh, in some other uh, internet searching but I just thought it was a really cool tool for formulators and uh, so I presented here. I'm Perry Romanowski uh, from Chemist Corner and I thank you for watching.